Nice to see everybody. Thanks for coming. You, you held your finger up. You, you all, you all I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, so, um, I think uh, today's conference was pretty self explanatory. Uh, so, if anybody has any questions, I'll take them now. Can you explain what a Fry hearing is? Sure. A Fry hearing is a, is a preliminary uh, evidentiary hearing to decide whether or not um, the uh, the, uh, the, the technology used in the case, and, and we're specifically talking about the DNA, whether it's, it's generally accepted in the, in the, in the um, scientific community and it's reliable and therefore uh, can be presented to the jury. So it's a, it's a preliminary stage uh, uh, type of hearing. We, we talk about the various modalities of, of DNA in this case. We have SDR, short tandem repeats. Uh, that has been litigated in uh, Suffolk County in New York State and found to be admissible. We have uh, mitochondrial DNA that has likewise uh, been, been litigated and found admissible. Now we have this SMP uh, DNA, which, which is a issue of first impression uh, for, uh, for New York State. So uh, we'll have to go through that. Certainly we'll have to go through that uh, Fry process, it appears, uh, in this instance. And is there DNA analysis and the electronic information that you provided they want all of that by December 17th, provided to the defense. That's what the judge said. But can you elaborate on that a little bit? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, a tremendous amount of information. We are pumping out an extraordinary amount of, of discovery, which the what I told the judge in chambers, and I appreciate the judge. I mean, the judge's job is to push prosecution, to push the defense, and to bring this case uh, to, to resolution, and that's what the judge is doing, and, and I, I certainly, um, I certainly respect that, uh, and you know because that is as it should be, um, you know. But with, with regard to us, uh, uh, you know, specifically, we have a forfeiture money that has been frozen as a result of uh, an in investigation that occurred prior to my administration. We're talking about uh, millions of dollars, I believe, thirteen million dollars. Um, Oftentimes when it comes to discovery, especially this volume of discovery, especially when you look at this volume of discovery in light of the ridiculous New York State discovery laws, uh, we, which we have to comply with, it's a money issue. It's a budgetary issue. So I would love to have that money uh, and, and take that money, which I don't have for no reason, uh, you know, that for any conduct on part of, of, of my administration. I'd love to have that money. Uh, and be able to use it to bring this case to a resolution. So I'm going to go to uh, the Department of Justice once again, hat in hand, and I will beg them, please give me this money so I can I can um, I can litigate uh, this very significant uh, serial killer case. And we'll see what we'll see what our, our, our federal government tells me. So, so do you think, think you, Mr. Attorney, are you con uh, concerned that? Some of that evidence that you guys have been gathering might be thrown out because of the methods that have been used, the newer version methods? No. So are you on track to make that December 17th deadline or not? <laughs> um, all I can do is try. All we can do is work. Uh, again, you know, you, I, you have to live in 